Hi, I'm Jason Bellamy here at APTA headquarters in Alexandria, Virginia. Just a few days ago, the Board of Directors had its August board meeting. The board is always working to move forward the work of the association, the profession, but this board meeting was maybe especially significant. The board decided to make a priority the development of a national registry. This is something that's been in discussion prior to this board meeting, but again, at this board meeting, the board decided to make a priority now into the foreseeable future. So I'm joined by fellow APGA staff members, Mark Goldstein, Justin Moore. Let's talk about the National Registry. Mark, first give me a sense of what the Nat National Registry is. Sure. Uh, what it is globally is some organized system to collect uniform, and uniform is really the key, data that can be used for a number of different purposes. What we're going to be using it for is, is really three things, to answer policy questions, clinical questions, and, and uh, the third perspective is to sort of promote science and, and answer research questions that have been very important to the profession. So the, the need for evidence-based care has always been a priority for the association, and increasingly so in recent years. But Justin, beyond that, give me the significance of the National Registry in, in developing this database. Thanks, Jason. The registry is very significant because of the change in currency in healthcare following the Affordable Care Act. That currency no longer is about just recognizing physical therapists as healthcare practitioners, but demonstrating the value of physical therapy to payers, to the public at large, and to the profession. And that significance is going to be uh, continuing over the next decade and into our uh, foreseeable future. Okay, so that's sort of the what and the why. Uh, now give me a sense of the when. Mark, when will the National Registry ideally uh, start? When will PTs be able to feel the impact? We think realistically that we can be up and running uh, probably early in 2014 with, with uh, uh, if you want to call it a pilot or a smaller number of people, hopefully 100 uh, or so uh, clinicians will be providing data to us. and. Um, based on, on a schedule that Justin has put together uh, that has to do with a lot of policy things going on on the Hill, we hope that we can be fully operational by sometime early in 2015. Okay. So, um, Justin, beyond that, give me a sense of the scope of this project. So, the board did make it a priority. Um, what does that really mean? How, how big is this project for APTA? Well, as you said, Jason, uh, the board made this a top priority for the association. Uh, so its scope is, is twofold. First, it's considerable, both in the cost uh, and direct staff and member time it's going to take to launch this registry. But it's also uh, considerable because of the diversity of PT practice. We practice in a lot of different settings uh, and treat patients of multiple different conditions uh, and also the size of physical therapy at over you know almost 175,000 practitioners uh, building a registry that's going to be inclusive to the continuum of care and the population of physical therapists is a significant undertaking and one of the largest the association has ever done. Uh, furthermore is uh, the scope will be evolving. Uh, we'll have to take this in a step-by-step -step fashion and really build it in sequence uh, so that it's responsible to the organization's mission and finances, uh, but that it grows at an appropriate rate. And we're looking forward to, to the project and uh, seeing how we can begin to build it at a, a, in that sequence and scope. Excellent. So, Oftentimes we're talking about value of APTA membership and we're looking at things that a, at a member um, would receive because, because they're a member of the association, so discounts on things or free courses. This is another uh, way to show the value of membership. So this is a project that would not be possible without APTA members. So first of all, thanks everyone who is a member. And beyond that, this is the reason why we need the membership. Um, if you want to learn more about this project, we're still um, putting together the information to uh, describe the project in a, in a grander scale. So that'll be rolling out over future weeks and months. But you can go to ape.org slash registry, and that's where you'll be able to see this information. Uh, thanks for the update. Thanks, Mark and Justin. Thanks, thanks.